Welcome back. Uh, just thought I'd do a quick review of my recently purchased uh, AL705 magnetic loop uh, from Alpha Antennas. Um, this is the uh, tuning capacitor I've got in shot now. Uh, it's very well built. I've not had a look inside uh, to show you the uh, tuning capacitor itself, uh, mainly to so I don't uh, void the warranty. Um, but the actual tuning knob uh, that you can see there, excuse me, let me go a bit of focus. You see that's actually been 3D printed, but uh, it seems a good finish, good quality. Uh, the connectors as well. And uh, as I go around the loop, uh, you can see the coupling loop there. Now this just uh, snaps on, there's like a, like a nice little twist and lock type connector um, to connect the uh, coupling loop. Now the coupling loop um, obviously came connected to that T connector. Uh, you get uh, obviously um, a good run of coax. I've not me measured it, it's probably about 10, 15 foot of coax, probably 10 foot to be honest. Um, but the actual ends, if you actually undo that, um, those that uh, undo the coupling loop and look in the ends, you'll probably notice that the, the centre is not actually soldered. That's part of the design and, and not a fault. Now, this product itself, I believe, has been endorsed uh, by ICOM. And uh, I've got this actually mounted on a DIY sort of makeshift sort of uh, camera tripod to, to, to actually fix it. So this little fiberglass tube you've got here is... Uh, what I use just to um, just to keep the loop nice and straight, so the uh, the coax itself is not running in the in the field uh, that's uh, induced by the magnetic loop. So uh, yeah, that's that's my doing anyway. So uh, yeah, just just some uh, guidance on on operation of these is obviously don't place it near uh, metal surfaces. Uh, keep at least uh, three feet away. So if you're out and uh, doing a bit of portable operations next to your car, just be mindful of. Uh, how close the car is and uh, place the loop at least one diameter of loop above the ground um, so yeah uh, tuning wise um, it'll give you a tune I've had it a lot lower but it'll give you about 2.5 to 1 on, on most rigs and uh, covers uh, 10 to 40 and about 7 megs to 29.7 so uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do, it's a bit windy outside, so I can't take it outside and uh, take it out with me portable at the moment, but I'll just show you how, uh, I wouldn't say sensitive, but how easy it is to tune with the uh, ICOM 705. Just to add also um, this antenna magnetic loop um, is rated at 20 watts PEP on SSB and 10 watts on CW, FM, AM, and uh, digital. Right then, I've uh, picked a frequency. Uh, it's getting sort of late in the evening now, so I've picked a frequency that's clear, and uh, I'm just gonna tune uh, by hand uh, using the loop, um, and just show you how um, how easy it is um, in one take to, to actually tune. So I'm going to um, switch it over to uh, SSB, lower sideband, 140 meters. Uh, there's a bit of not, let's come out of the way. Right, let's pick that one. So anyway, I've got to tune the loop up now. Uh, I'm going to turn the dial till we get most uh, get get the, a lot of noise. Now the good thing with uh, SDR displays like this is um, I've actually set the radio up um, from the center point of my tuning. I've got uh, 250 kilohertz either side, so I just want to center. The, uh, the noise as best I can in the middle of all that noise. So, so you can see it there. Yeah, you can see it moving across. I'm just twisting it at the moment. So, so I want to get into the middle of that uh, noise. Yeah. 
hopefully we're about there. So I can hear some uh, talking again. Just come out of the way. Let's go about here. Let's tune again. So I hope from about centre there. too far. Right, what I'm going to do is uh, put a constant carrier. So I'm just going to go FM and let's get the mic and just check what the SWR is. There you go. Less than 1.5 to 1. So there you go, that's the uh, AL705. Um, I know it's mainly designed and endorsed by ICOM to use on the 705, um, but I'm sure you could use this on uh, any QRP rig like the, uh, the Zygu there. But uh, anyway, it's just a short one and um, I'll say 73 is on the shack. Cheers now.